Go, go. Okay, we're taking out our uh, our cooled uh, dip, and we're putting in our Tostitos salsa, half a cup. Half a cup. And you can oh, one cup. One cup. Okay. How do you know that's one cup, by the way? You could just tell? Yeah. Because you're just so experienced like that? I'm a great cook. Now, do you think we should put this back in the refrigerator since we just put the salsa on? Because we actually forgot to put it on before, so we're putting it in now. You want to put it back in the refrigerator now, maybe? Or do you think it'll still be good? Um, I don't know. I'm going along. Uh... Wait. Let's I'll try do whatever it. whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> Let's try it. How does it taste? Great. Well, let's try it with a chip. Let's try it with a chip. But don't double dip. Remember what George Cassandra said? Don't double dip. Put in a chip and you don't double dip. And I'm going to try it now. Well, you try first. Do so you think our guests will like it? I think it should be good, yeah. All right, so basically and it was really easy to make, right? Like seriously easy to make. Okay, so now we've got this. So why don't we take this now, put this back in the refrigerator for our guests, and let's now go on to the next thing, which is our guacamole. We are making guacamole. Okay. And how do you, now guacamole, you said when you were in Mexico, this was something you actually made back then. Is that true? Yeah, but I, I learned more about making guacamole in the United States than I did in Mexico. Is it not a huge dish in Mexico? <laughs> It's more of a Tex-Mex thing. Okay. Alright, so anyway, so how do we, so what is the, what does the Frito-Lay um, site say as to how to make guacamole? Or that you're getting this? No, this is, you know. this is my own recipe. Oh, this is your own recipe. So tell us what you did. How many avocados are in there? That's a half of avocado. Okay. Half some of salsa. Avocado, some some lime. Salsa. You put lime in? You squeeze yeah. this lime. Okay. Um, salsa. Of course, with the with these Tostitos chips, and I think actually the Lay's salsa to give it a little bite. Salsa to give it a little bite. I think that I honestly think that these Lay's chips would taste really yeah, good. Yeah, that's what it, that's what they in the uh, guacamole. I think it would taste really, yeah. really good. Like that's I have what a we're feeling. To do. Oh, good. Okay, good. So let's. All right. So now let's. Um. So oh, wow. So you really, you really uh. Mash it. Are really mashing it in. Should it be creamy, you think, or should it be like uh, a little lumpy? A little lumpy. Okay, a little. A little I'm gonna lumpy. put a little tomato in, diced gonna, tomato. Gonna it, but isn't there tomato in the salsa already? I guess, but I, I like a little fresh tomato in there too. Okay, fresh tomato. I think our guests will like fresh tomato, right? I hope so. Okay, let's see. Dicing it nice and small. Okay. So the, obviously the tomato's not going to be lumpy. We're going to make more. We have actually have more avocados. So we're going to make more of these. We just wanted to test out this first batch, right, babe? Now we're going to make more. Yeah. This is a smaller, smaller portion size. So we could see if it works. We like the way it tastes. Are you gonna turn the camera on me now? Okay, now let's turn. Let's. You take Wanna the camera. Try it? Yeah, you take, take the a, camera. Take a dip. Now turn the camera on me. Here, here's the camera. Okay, it's on. It's on. You see me here? Hi. Okay, so just made our guacamole. What are you doing? I'm trying to minimize it. Oh. Okay. Just made our guacamole, and now we are trying the Frito Lay Summer Fun Party. Because no party is complete without dips and chips, right? And and let's talk about how we made this guacamole again. I'm going to try the Lay's in here. Let's see. I want to get a nice big chunk. Ooh, oops. I like to get a nice big thing. Oh, my God. This is so good. Robert, this is really good. Mmm. First of all, this chunky salsa happens to be really good. I like it. We got the medium one, which is good because I don't like things too spicy. But I have to tell you, 
I never thought you could have potato chips with guacamole. I never even considered it. Automatically, you always think guacamole has to be with scoops, tostitos, which it could be. But let me tell you something. These lace potato chips and the guacamole, it's really, really good. I highly recommend this to anyone that's having a party this summer. Seriously? Robert, I know why I married you. Because you make some mean, wicked, incredible.